Hello viewers hope you are all right. There are thousands of animal species in world. They have different size, different color, and different behaviors. In this thousand species of animals some are so weird. So, today we are talking about some weird animals. Let's dive into our list. Number 10. Star-Nosed Mole Star-Nosed Mole is a small semi-aquatic mole found in moist. In the northern parts of North America, it has a very weird nose shape like star. The star-shaped nose is a unique organ only found on the star-nosed mole. The nose is about 1 centimeter in diameter. The star-nosed mole lives in wet lowland areas and eats small invertebrates such as aquatic insects. It is a good swimmer and can forge along the bottoms of streams. And ponds, like other moles, this animal digs shallow surface tunnels. These moles are also able to smell underwater, accomplished by exhaling air bubbles onto objects or scent trails, and then inhaling the bubbles to carry scents back through the nose. Number 9. Red-Lipped Batfish Like its name, it is a fish and have red lips. The red-lipped batfish is a fish of unusual morphology found around the Galapagos Islands and off Peru at depths of 3 to 76 meter. Red-lipped batfish are closely related to rosy-lipped batfish, which are found near Cocos Island off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. This fish is mainly known for its bright red lips. These fish are not good swimmers. They use their highly adapted pectoral pelvic and anal fins to walk on the ocean floor. Red-lipped batfish main foods are other small fish and small invertebrates including shrimp, crabs, worms, and mollusks. The red-lipped batfish has no known direct threats. However, rising sea temperatures and coral bleaching could pose a threat, as it would alter the natural habitat and may cause a decline in the availability of a natural food source. Number 8. Sega Antelope The Sega Antelope is a critically endangered antelope which is found in Kazakhstan, Mongolia, the Russian Federation, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. This antelope has an extremely unusual appearance with an oversized and flexible nose, the internal structure of which acts like a filter. During the summer, it filters out a dust kicked up by the herd, and during the winter warms up the freezing air before it is taken into the lungs. In males a big horns is present, and in female they didn't have horns. Number 7. Blobfish. Blobfish is also known as ugliest animal. They live at depths between 600 and 1,000 to 100 meters where the pressure is 60 to 120 times greater than at sea level which would likely make gas bladders inefficient for maintaining buoyancy. It also known as a flathead sculpin. The fish only looks like a miserable pink lump when it has been torn from its home and suffered devastating tissue damage due to the rapid depressurization as it was dragged to the surface. Because they live at such incredible depths, these fascinating fish are hard to study in their natural environment. Number 6. Lamprey. Lamprey belong to an ancient order of vertebrates, the Agnatha, or jawless fish. Lamprey skeletons are formed of strong, flexible cartilage rather than bone. A round sucker-like disc surrounds the mouth, which in adults carries rasping teeth. Most but not all lamprey species are parasitic on other fish. Lamprey are found in temperate waters in both the northern and southern hemispheres. It have an eel-like body to close dorsal fin, seven gills openings, large round mouth with sharp, curved teeth and rasping tongue. Its length is about 60 for centimeters. Lamprey are parasite which feed in other fish fluid. Lampreys begin life as burrowing freshwater larvae. At this stage they are toothless, have rudimentary eyes and feed on microorganisms. After several years, they transform into adults and typically move into the sea to begin a parasitic life, attaching to a fish by their mouths and feeding on the blood and tissues of the host. Number 5. Platypus. The platypus, sometimes referred to as the duck-billed platypus, is a semi-aquatic, egg-laying mammal endemic to eastern Australia, including Tasmania. The platypus is among nature's most unlikely animals. In fact, the first scientists to examine a specimen believed they were the victims of a hoax. The animal is best described as a mixture of more familiar species like duck, beaver, and otter. They have sharp stingers on the heels of their rear feet and can use them to deliver a strong toxic blow to any enemy. Platypuses hunt underwater, where they swim gracefully by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and beaver-like tail. They folds their skin to cover their eyes. 
and ears to prevent water from entering, and the nostrils close with a watertight seal. In this posture, a platypus can remain submerged underwater for about one to two minutes. Although it looked like a harmless animal, but it is one of the few living mammals to produce venom. The venom is made in venom glands that are connected to hollow spurs on their hind legs. It is primarily made during the mating season. Platypus venom have no antidote. So if platypus venom enter your body, venom disrupts hemostasis cell membranes and the susception to cause nausea, swelling, and excruciating whole body pain that lasts for weeks in humans and cannot be alleviated by morphine. Number 4. Goblin Shark. The goblin shark is a rare species of deep-sea shark, sometimes called a living fossil. It is the only extant representative of the family Mitsukurinidae lineage, some 125 million years old. This pink-skinned animal has a distinctive profile, with an elongated flat snout and highly protrusible jaws containing prominent nail-like teeth. It is usually between 3 and 4 meters long when mature. Though it can grow considerably larger, such as one captured in 2000, that is thought to have measured 6 meters. It lives in deep ocean, about 100 meters. Some researchers believe that these sharks could also dive to depths of up to 1,300 meters. Number 3. Pangolin. Pangolins sometimes known as scaly ant eaters. Pangolins are mammals. These species range in size from 30 to 100 centimeters. Pangolins have large, protective keratin scales, similar in material to fingernails and toenails, covering their skin. They are the only known mammals with this feature. They live in hollow trees or burrows, depending on the species. Pangolins are nocturnal, and their diet consists of mainly ants and termites, which they capture using their long tongues. They tend to be solitary animals, meeting only to mate and produce a litter of one to three offspring which they raise for about two years, pangolin are endangered species. They are hunt for their meat and scales, which are used in ancient medicine. Number 2. Ai. The Ai is a long-fingered lemur, a strepsirine primate native to Madagascar with rodent-like teeth that perpetually grow, and a special thin middle finger. It is characterized by its unusual method of finding food. It taps on trees to find worms. Then it makes holes in the wood using its forward slanting incisors to create a small hole, where it inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the worms out. This food-finding method is called percussive foraging. The only other living mammal species known to find food in this way are the striped possum and triox of northern Australia and New Guinea, which are marsupials. From an ecological point of view, the eye fills the niche of a woodpecker, as it is capable of penetrating wood to extract the invertebrates within. The Aya is the only extant member of the genus Daubintonia and family Daubintonidae. It is currently classified as endangered by the IUCN. A second species, Daubintonia robusta, appears to have become extinct at some point within the last 1,000 years and is known from subfossil finds. Number 1. The Frilled Lizard. Frilled Lizard, also known as the Frill Necked Lizard or Frilled Dragon, is a species of lizard in the family Agamidae. It is native to northern Australia and southern New Guinea. This species is the only member of the genus Chlamydosaurus. Its common names come from the large frill on its neck, which usually stays folded against the lizard's body. It reaches 90 centimeters from head to tail and can weigh 600 gram. Males are larger and more robust than females. It is generally gray, brown, orangish brown, or black in color. The frills have red, orange, yellow, or white colors. The frilled lizard is largely arboreal, spending most of its time in trees. Its diet consists mainly of insects and other invertebrates. It is more active during the wet season. When it spends more time near or on the ground, it is less observed during the dry season, during which it seeks shade in the branches of the upper canopy. It breeds in the late dry season and early wet season. The lizard uses its frill to scare off predators and display to other individuals. The species is considered to be of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. With our last animal, our list ends here. Hope you like our video. If you like our video and for more this type of content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.